Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024. I'm Donis Wilkinson Keynes. Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Terence Drew, says St. Kitts and the Nevis' Citizenship by Investment, CBI, will now fuel real, tangible, sustainable projects that will create permanent jobs and opportunities for the Federation's people. In a national address on October 17th, Prime Minister Drew explained that his government has laid the groundwork for the Sustainable Island State Agenda and the National Development Planning Framework. Let me introduce you to some of these transformative projects. The new JNF Climate Smart General Hospital at Camps, funded by the Republic of China, Taiwan. Work is steadily progressing on this hospital. It will be hurricane resistant, modern, and powered by renewable energy. It is also set to become one of the leading hospitals in the Caribbean in setting and service. So I invite our healthcare professionals at home and abroad to help us bring this vision to life. The new Bastia High School at Victoria Road, Bastia, funded by CBI. The school will be a world-class educational institution and we expect construction to start by the second quarter of 2020. The Smart Homes Initiative, funded by CIBC Caribbean. This initiative will bring hundreds of homes to our people with 90% of the construction workforce be local. Construction will begin with at least 100 hurricane resistant homes by the end of 2024. The 2 million gallon per day Bastia desalination plant funded by the federal government. This critical project in the final pre-construction stages will provide fresh consistent water to our people by the third quarter of 2025. When construction begins by the end of this year, it will also create numerous construction jobs and permanent positions for plant workers when it opens next year. The Needmus Power Plant Expansion, funded by the Saudi Fund for Development. This project will strengthen our electrical grid by installing modern, fuel-efficient power generators, ensuring a stable energy supply for homes and businesses alike. Prime Minister Drew said over the next two to three years, his government anticipates an economic boom in construction, tourism, agriculture and sustainability projects. The federal government and the Nevis Island Administration are advancing negotiations with two major investors to finally bring our geothermal energy potential to life. This could become a game changer for our Federation's energy independence and resilience. The reinvigoration of Kittishan Hill. Our administration is actively quoting investors to bring Kittishan Hill to full life, offering new opportunities for tourism and community development. Christoph Harbour Redevelopment. We are in discussions with the new investors who will inject capital into Christoph Harbour, enhancing our high-end tourism offerings, particularly in Yatin, and creating significant employment opportunities. The Prime Creative Arts Center, this iconic facility at Half Moon Heights, will be a historic hub for creative and artistic expression, providing a platform for our artists and fostering cultural pride. According to Prime Minister Drew, these projects and many others represent his government's commitment to improving the lives of every Kittishan and Nivision. Nevis's Health Promotion Unit is extending congratulations to two of its members of staff who have been nominated among 35 under 35 leaders in health. During the Global Week for Action on NCDs, October 15th to 22nd, Public Health NGO Lake Health and Wellbeing is highlighting young people who have demonstrated dedication and leadership in addressing non-communicable diseases in St. Kitts and Nevis. Janice Pemberton is a dietitian and youth health advocate whose exceptional dedication, initiative and passion are making waves in the field of nutrition and public health. Her multifaceted approach to dietetics, combining clinical expertise with creative communication and advocacy, sets her apart as a rising star in the industry. Oceana O'Loughlin is a dynamic health professional whose passion for fitness and health promotion is commendable.
At the core of her philosophy is a deep-seated belief in the transformative power of physical activity. Her passion for using both hands-on activities and digital tools to inspire health habits demonstrates her adaptability and forward-thinking approach. She's a testament to the power of combining passion, creativity, and expertise in the field of health. Still to come, we recognize the increasing importance of mental health well-being in fostering productive, supportive, and sustainable work environments. We'll give you the details after this break. Guess what? What? September 2024 marks the official start of Aspire. And our government has a super cool gift just for us. $1,000 in savings and investments. $500 will be held in a savings account. That way go. And $500 in shares kept safely until you are qualified to access it. <laughs> and it belongs to us, not mommy, not daddy. <laughs> and not only that, you'll be learning all about how to manage your money wisely at school too. Yes, all children ages 5 to 18 who are citizens of St. Kitts and Nevis. And registered at a school including homeschool will qualify. I can't wait for September 2024. But I am the first group ever to benefit from this program. Yay! To saving, investing and watching our money grow. Welcome back. On October 10th, the Behavioral Health and Wellness Center hosted a mental health symposium at the Nevis Disaster Management Department under the theme, A Healthy Workplace, Prioritizing Mental Health in the Workplace. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Shelisa Martin-Clark, delivered remarks during the brief opening ceremony. We recognize the increasing importance of mental health well-being in fostering productive, supportive, and sustainable work environments. The workplace is where we spend a significant portion of our lives and time. It is not just a place for productivity and achievement, but also a space where our mental well-being can be shaped and influenced. In a world where the demands of work often stretch our emotional and psychological boundaries, creating a workplace that prioritizes Mental health is not just beneficial, it is essential. We know that when mental health is prioritized, it fosters better communication, stronger teamwork, and increased job satisfaction. It reduces absenteeism, staff turnover, and the costs associated with burnout. In short, healthier minds create healthier organizations. She also outlined what was covered during the one-day symposium. Today's discussions will shed light on practical strategies and insights that can help us better understand and address the mental health challenges in our ministries, our departments, or our units. Today, I encourage all of us to consider what more we can do to create such an environment, whether it's through open conversations, providing resources, or simply showing compassionate and un compassion and understanding to colleagues who may be struggling. Mental health needs to be a shared responsibility, one that includes management, HR, and every member of the team. Let us take this opportunity to learn, share, and build healthier workspaces for all. The symposium covered various topics including microaggression and navigating oppression in the workplace by Councillor Alden Claxton and work-life balance finding the equilibrium by Senior Councillor Macmillan Coffey. The feature presentation was delivered by Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Human Resources, Kevin Barrett, who spoke about the Employee Assistance Program, EAP. Those present were also split into groups and had a discussion about the EAP and in turn made a 10-minute presentation on the program. The workshop was held on World Mental Health Day when Permanent Secretaries and Heads of Departments within the Nevis Island Administration gathered for the informative half-day session. 
Sankes and Nevis, SKN Moves Nevis chapter will host its Cooking to Reduce Non-Communicable Diseases, NCDs, and Quiz Competition in November. Executive Chef Michael Henville and Sheila James, coordinator of SKN Moves Nevis chapter, have the details. SKN Moves Nevis chapter, second edition of the Cooking to Reduce NCDs and Quiz Competition 2024 to be hosted on Saturday the 23rd and Sunday the 24th of November 2024. The Cooking to Reduce NCDs will be hosted at the Jessup's Community Centre and the quiz will take place on Sunday the 24th of November at the Meepack Auditorium. And if it's anything to go by last year, Michael, the standards were absolutely special. We're in for a great competition. So I'm going to hand over to you to share with the public the criteria for this year's competition. Yes, thank you very much. So we are seeking six solo chefs. You must be 18 and over to, to participate and experience is not essential but will help, okay? Uh, now each cook will be asked to draw blindly a protein which they will use in preparing a dish and each cook will be provided with the additional ingredients in making their dish. We will also provide the recipe, okay? So there will be a deliberate, scent, deliberate uh, absence of salt during the, the prep, the cooking and the finished dish. So we ask each cook to bring cooking utensils, bowls, spoons, cutlery, knives, etc. However, we will provide the cooktops, the aprons, and kitchen towels, okay? So day one, all cooks will be scored on a series of criteria, and the four highest scores automatically go through to the second round, which is the quiz, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, which means we eliminate the two lowest scores. Okay, so day two is the quiz competition. Weeks before the competition, each cook will be given a booklet which will hold the answers to 30 questions. Note, points from day one will be added to day two for an overall winner. So please mark the date, 23rd and 24th of November 2024. Please check the health promotion unit and SKN News Nevis Chapter Facebook page for full details coming to you shortly. And good luck! Registration is free. The deadline for registration is November 15th, 2024. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, thank you for viewing.